I've been working on something that may help with the visual novel developing process for RenPy. Let's say I've got a visual novel script written in a Word document, and I want to convert the contents of this document over to a RenPy file. Now I can go over the docs and manually convert this, but I'm lazy. So for the past few weeks, I've been developing this small Python script that automatically converts the contents of a Word document to a RenPy text format. If you're confused, just let me do a quick demo. Ooh, yeah. A picture is worth a thousand words, so a video is probably worth a million. Let's say you have a Word document and you have a script for the next Steins gate. You have your dialogue and your narration separated, and trying to format it to the RenPy standard might be some work. But by running it through the script, we get this auto-generated .rpy file. And if we run the RenPy program, we can see the text rendered like so, exactly how it is on the Word document. Notice how there are some text stylings in the Word document that is also translated and rendered in RenPy. To get it translated, the Word document has to adhere to a specific structure. So let's talk about how to structure the Word document so the script can translate it to RenPy. As a disclaimer, this tool assumes you're trying to create an ADV style visual novel. Just Google it for more info. First, there's a concept of chunks to separate the text into text boxes in a RenPy game. A chunk is a blob of text and is separated by a new line. For example, this blob of text here is considered a chunk. We have a new line here and the next chunk starts below. This concept of chunks is important so that we can separate text into its own text box. For example, if we have three chunks here in the Word document, then in the RenPy game, there'll be three text boxes preceding one another. The second structural concept is text types. There are two different text types the script will recognize, narration and dialogue. A dialogue is when we have a speaker and some text. A narration is basically everything except for a dialogue. For a dialogue text type, the script will differentiate the speaker and the text with a semicolon character. So if you're running this program, beware of using the semicolon in your Word doc. Ooh, yeah. We can translate text formats from Word document to a RenPy file. Let me list out all the features this script can currently do. Bold, italics, strike through, underline, font size, and finally font color. You can also mix and match each of these styles to create something like this. So some of you might ask why not just edit directly in the RenPy files itself. Currently I'm working on a visual novel with a good friend of mine, and we both use Google Drive to edit our story scripts. So obviously being the programmer, I dreaded the idea of having to translate all this to RenPy, so I tried to automate that conversion task. I hope to share with all you guys in case you run into the same situation as I did, or you want to write your script in a Word document and have it seamlessly translated to a RenPy text. Now I left instructions on how to build and run the script in the GitHub repo below, but if people want, I can always develop a desktop app with a nice GUI to run the conversion more seamlessly. Just let me know in the comments below. Anyhow, that's all the time I have left. I hope this was helpful and I will see you next time.